sense the magic of the city. I do, I love it. Do you believe in magic? In magic? I do. I believe in illusionist. Do you believe in magic? I do. Whether or not you believe in magic, there is no denying that the voodoo spirit is very much alive in New Orleans. And what better place to catch the spell than the historic voodoo museum? This is the first room of the voodoo museum. Okay. It tells you about voodoo dolls. Tell me a little bit about them. I am very curious about the voodoo Oh dolls. my. The voodoo doll is used to fight spirits. So it's for protection, yes. mainly. Or to make someone do something for you. Mm. Talk to me about the readings. I've I'm about going to go get a reading later. I'm curious about it. What do you see? Well, personally, I prefer to use a snake reading. I've used my snake several different times. Let me show you. A snake reading? Yes. This is a concept. You would take the snake. Oh, this is a snake. I had no idea Cinnamon was secretly housing a snake under that dress. Let me tell you, my friends, no voodoo ceremony is complete without proper dramatic flair. I feel great, though, I have to say. What, what just took place was an uncrossing. It was taking off negativity spirits from you. You were first afraid of the snake, but now you're not. Now I am fearless. To a certain degree. Okay. It's a difference if I was to put it under your shirt. Oh, God, yes. If you could cast a spell on anyone, oh. what would it be? Got a couple of sister-in-laws. How about you? Probably my sister. My ex. Would you cast a spell? I would you? not, unless it was a positive spell, because okay. negative comes back to you three times. When freshly uncrossed and ready for an even deeper voodoo experience, <laughs> one must venture to Priestess Miriam for a reading. She's the mambo and co-founder of the New Orleans Voodoo Spiritual Temple. Anything you can do to help me out. Wow. To find my path. Oh, I will goodness, I will girl. take. When you have a situation to work out, it's, it requires on signing documents. Yes. Paper. I've been reading a lot of contracts lately, so yeah. that is true. Do you see anything about a house? It's good to come along with signing a document and, and have waiting to see if it's going to finalize. There should be some answers within today is Tuesday. Let's look at the next week where you can have more. Wow, that's soon? That would, I will call you if that happens. Yeah, thank that's you. all I can say. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I enjoyed it. So I walk out of Priestess Miriam and I immediately get a text and I have to sign this contract and notarize it and get it in there in time because it appears that I'm going to get my permit. It hasn't even been a week. It's been five minutes since I walked out of there. Ah, ah. This woman is right. <laughs> Come to her. After all, am I a believer? Am I not a believer? I think I'm going to take away what she preaches, and it's about intention. And it's about really focusing on what is it that you really want. Pray for it. Think about it. So, you know what, New Orleans? I will practice what you preach.